Hey everybody, this is Cosmo Lanier, and you are watching Cosmo and the Movie Within. long time no see. This is the 2022 year end wrap up. I've seen a ton of movies and I mean a ton. Some woo, that was amazing and some uh, is it over yet? Please help me. Help. Help me for watching this. Help. Help. Anyway it's been a lot, <laughs> but I've seen about close to 200 films this year, give or take. So that is a large scale of movies. So first, let's just hit it off right off the back. I'm gonna hit you off with my favorite and then I'm gonna go down the list of certain categories and then I'm gonna end it off with the, the worst, unfortunately. And then what well, I'm excited about for this year. So let's get right into it. Best movies, 2022, Avatar, Top Gun, and The Journal for Jordan, with Wakanda Forever right in that mix. I can't pick a number one. Honestly, A Journal for Jordan started my year off amazing. A movie, it's a love, a romantic, true story. Um, it's about, uh, with Michael B. Story, Michael B. Jordan. Excellent movie. That was the very first movie I saw in 2022, which shows how good that movie was because it lasted all the way from the beginning and all the movies I saw, and it still was in the back of my head at the end of the year. And then, so that started me off. Then you had um, Top Gun, Maverick, hit us off at the beginning, at the middle of the year. That movie was an experience. Going in the, the theaters, people were screaming and yelling, oh my God, ah! Bunch of emotions. This, so that right there, I was like, all right, that 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 experience, that might be it. And then that well, that mammoth, that ooh wee, Avatar, the way of water. Woo! What can I say? Visually, leaps and bounds over any possible thing that you might have saw this year, and. This in general, period. It's better than the first one. The movie was immaculate. Storytelling, visuals, you name it, it was it. If I had to pick one, it would probably be Avatar. Just because it had the storytelling of like a journal for Jordan, even though a journal for Jordan was real and based on a real based on a real story. But it also had the visuals, it had um it, had, it was an experience just going there. Overall, I have to pick Avatar. Avatar is the best movie I saw overall the whole year just because of everything. There might have been some things that had maybe a little bit better story or a little better of this or that, but the accumulation of everything put together, I have to pick Avatar. But my top three for the year, Avatar, Top Gun Maverick, and The Journal for Jordan. Check them all out. So let's go right into it. Best action. Gotta go with the gray man. Talk about this hand to hand. I haven't seen an action movie like a thorough act, like Die Hard, like an action, Mission Impossible, like those type of movies. It's been a while. Or you get them every once every, it has to be like a pivotal franchise. But the gray man um, starring, um, who's my name? Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans. No more Captain America. He was a bad guy in this, but just hand-to-hand -hand combat, 100% action from beginning to end, 100%, great man. Um, Top Gun, the action, the jet fighting. It's a little different action because it's not really hand-to-hand, -hand, but you know, it's still tons of action 
with all the fighter jet and all those sequences. And then uh, the Woman King, Viola Davis is 50 something years old and she was getting busy. And I mean getting busy. Go watch The Woman King. And then an honorable mention would be Prey, the new Predator movie. Predator and Native Americans was battling their butts off. That those battle scenes were intense. The Native Americans were getting, they were getting kind of beat up, kind of killed. But they also was handling their own. Great time period, great movie overall. And I like movies. You know movies good when you can watch it multiple times. I've watched The Gray Man multiple times. I've watched Top Gun multiple times. I've watched The Woman King multiple times. I've watched The Prey multiple times. That just tells you they're pretty good. Um, let's go straight into horror. <laughs> Horror, I'm sorry, I'm a big baby. When it comes to horror, I need to be, I need to see it at home, I need to have a hat on, so just the brim, so I can see, and then I need to have like, a little blanket in my cocoon, so I miss my eyeballs can see. But keep it real, most horror movies are lame. By the end of it, you're like, I didn't need to do all that. That movie wasn't that good. And I'm trying to get out of my cocoon because I do more reviews, so. I'm like, alright, I'm going to go see more horror movies than I might on a normal basis just so I can give a review. It was a lot of lame. Not that scary. And like, why is this even considered a horror film? Because this is not it. But there was one movie that scared the crap out of me. And I actually will say, was actually scary. Smile. Go ahead and see that if you want. Go ahead and see that if you want. You go ahead and see that and tell me you ain't scared. That devil or demon, whatever. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Uh, but if I have to give you a, a good one, I have to give you some of the letdowns. <sighs> Hellraiser. Why? Halloween ends. Really? How are you going to end a franchise, but the last movie is pretty much a spinoff to the next installment but then they don't go through the next installment because it's the ending so they kill it but the whole movie is about what the next installment would be but you're not going to get that because the series is done and then michael myers lasting he's as old as me i mean that movie came out in the 80s 79 something like that and this old man is that strong i've heard of old man strength so i'm not even gonna front but he's been going all this, been, oh, oh, you going full, full blown run. He's over there. Catching you, killing you. Right. That person died like that? That's how they chose to end that franchise? Anyways, what else? Run, sweetheart, run. It was a horror film because of how nasty it was. I'm not even gonna go into depths about it. The monster, whatever, was a vampire, demon, something in that realm. But, sorry, menstrual cramps and menstrual blood is what made the vampire get off. Multiple scenes of some of the most nastiest stuff you'll ever see. And I'm talking about going in your pants, flinging yami, doing all types of, and this is like, ew, like, I'm a man, so maybe I'm tripping. So I asked some women that saw it. Are you cool with this? They said that movie was disgusting. So I can't even say run, sweetheart, run. I might run, menstrual, run. Run, period, run. Cramp, grenade, bloody vampire. Knock, knock, who's there? Menstrual cramps. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kill you. I don't know. Anything would have been better because that was Brasuda, trash. And I usually don't like to say trash and I try not to go for it, but that movie was garbage and it was disgusting. What are we doing? And then we had tons of movies that were just like, not scary. What was the point? Please. Why? White noise. Yeah, you hear that quietness? That was the movie, pointless. Looking at a bunch of nothing. Why? Just don't make it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I thought of this when I was doing a written review. Some of these movies, they just need to be left in the MacBook notes. You know you have your notes in your phone? MacBooks have it too. So what they do is you open up the notes and you 
typing up this movie, you know what you need to do? Just leave it in the notes. Leave it in the MacBook notes. Never have it see the light of day. Because it's trash. Moving on. Comedies. My best comedy. Honk for Jesus. Honk, honk. That movie was hilarious. It was kind of a dark comedy because it was some serious, ser serious stuff going on in there. But the movie was hilarious throughout the whole thing. And then they had this whole, no, if you buck, why look? If you buck, why look? If you buck, what, 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 what? They had a whole nuck if you buck scene in there. It was top tier hilarious and top tier amazing. So, yes, nuck if you buck. Um... That was probably my best comedy. Now, the worst, uh, I saw a lot of stuff that was here and there, yeah, yeah. But a comedy special, Chris Red from SNL, who left and left underneath some weird stuff, you know, he was dating uh, Keen's wife, ex-wife, blah, blah, blah. It was a little messy. He should have, uh, not to say he had to put that in this comedy special, but anything to spice it up, because what that comedy special was, um, why am I like this? I'm sorry, my guy. That wasn't it. No, that probably was by far the worst thing I saw all year comedy-wise because it just was not funny. And then, like, the jokes just wasn't hitting. And I was just like, ooh, this is torturous. You don't want to watch something that's torturous. And that comedy special was torturous. So, hard pass. The worst letdown. Worst letdown, it was a anticipated movie but it ended up being a letdown and I have to say the Northman the Northman was you saw these trailers and I love Viking stuff by the way just a point out there and you saw him um Skarsgård he's over there 12 pack looking huge muscles he got in there boom boom got his sword his axe whoosh, 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 whoosh. Yeah! and then you see the movie and it's like okay it's going this is a little weird Okay, all right, this is, this, is, this is still weird. Okay, all right. Oh, okay, oh, we're getting busy, we're getting busy. All right, all right. Oh, that scene was very short, okay. All right, come on. Okay, oh shit, it's been like an hour. Nothing's happened. Credits, oh. This is what I watched? This is what I waited for? Really? Why? As Skarsgård, I would be pissed. You went to the gym, you worked your butt off to give your body to look like that. He looked like my nephew. If you haven't seen my nephew, he's pretty brolic. I call him Creed. Or I call him uh, Michael B. Jordan, playing around, because he's that brolic. That's how Skarsgård was looking. And I was like, okay, but you put all that effort and time into your body just to put that lame production out? Sorry. That was a let down to the most magnitude number. But on the flip side, something that wasn't a let down, the most anticipated, that was actually good, Hocus Pocus 2. Hocus Pocus 2 was amazing. I loved it. The whole family loved it. Doesn't matter what age you'll watch. Everybody will love it. I even, my review that I posted, even some of the actors from Hocus Pocus 2 messaged me and told me how much they liked my review. So I thought that was pretty cool. Great movie. Um, a sequel that actually lived up to the hype. Um, and Wakanda Forever. We knew that it was going to be, no, R.P. Chadwick Boseman. We knew it was going to be sad. We knew uh, they had that to live up to. And we knew Shiri was probably going to be the next Black Panther because they already announced that they wasn't going to recast the role. So that being said, we already had some of these expectations. And it's like, all right, don't mess this up. But they pulled through. I loved the movie. The movie was great. It made you cry. It made you happy. It made you uh, look for the future. Excellent overall film. And... It was highly anticipated, and it actually wasn't a letdown. And this year, in general, I have to say, this is the year of the sequels. Hocus Pocus 2, um, Wakanda Forever, um, <clears throat> uh, the Top Gun, Avatar. I can go on and on. Mad franchises or just films that came out with the seconds or the sequels, and they actually were really good. Obviously, there were some letdowns as well. But as a whole, I have to say this is the year of the sequels. And the year of the sequels 
it was hitting. Best comic book movies this year. Wakanda Forever was by far the best comic book movie I saw this year. Black Adam, follow up. Soon as The Rock, Black Adam entered in that film, from that point on to the end, non-stop action. The movie was great. This sucks that he's fired now and there's not going to be a sequel and that whole arc is just pretty much done. But for what it was, Black Adam was amazing and Wakanda Forever would be number one. Black Adam, honorable mention. The worst, Morbius. 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 Moving on. Animated. Best animated had to be Chippendales, Rescue Rangers. That movie was hilarious with all these little nuggets throughout the film. Excellent movie. Second best animated was Dragon Ball Z. Super Saiyan. Goku wasn't even in this one, but Gohan? He needed that. He needed that W because he was getting a little, you know what I mean, a little, what's going to Gohan? And Gohan is supposed to be it. He's supposed to be him. So, movie, excellent. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go on YouTube and watch the Dragon Ball movie um, playing at the LA Theater. Is this a clip of the LA Theater? Because the seats move with it, and then when they're going Super Saiyan, you actually feel like you're going Super Saiyan in the theater. Excellent. Um, I haven't experienced it, but just by that video, you could tell that's the move. Um, worst animated, I'm sorry. This year was a bunch of mid, a bunch of middle tier moves. Talk about um, Luck, Rumble, um, Paws of Fury. I can go on and on and on. There was a lot of just middle tier, decent, okay, like didn't really move me. Rescue Rangers was really good. Dragon Ball Z was really good. Romance. I'm not the best romance person, but I'll dabble in a little bit. Best romantic movie, A Journal for Jordan. I already talked about in the best movie category, so you already know. It's an excellent romance movie, plus it's a real story. Michael B. Jordan did that. Second runner-up, I would have to say Marry Me. Jennifer Lopez, Owen Wilson, you wouldn't think that would be a good combo, but it was actually an excellent movie. It was funny, um, it was romantic, and it was a good time. I really enjoyed that movie. Worst? Uh, there was a lot of why, but I will have to say Leo Grand. Hello, Leo Grand, or whatever Leo Grand, pretty much about an older woman, and she bought an escort. She's like 60-something. He's like in his 20s. He's an escort. That premise is already odd. And then, so I don't have to even go any further. But that's what the premise is about. Horrible romance. The worst? Licorice pizza. Licorice, licorice pizza. It's about a 25-year-old woman and a 15-year-old boy in a relationship in Hollywood in the 70s. No, that's not weird. It only got nominated for Oscars, Golden Globes, and every possible award possible. That's not weird. A 25-year-old and a 15-year-old boy? And then it's like, oh, they try to like middle tier the whole movie and it's like, oh, we're not really in a relationship. Oh, I want to be in a relationship, but I'm throwing you away. I'm, I'm shooing you away because you're young. But by the end of it, <clears throat> they're kissing. Really? Really? So by the end of it, it's like, you know what? We do love each other. Bump the age. Let's just be together. Really? It's called statutory rape. And that film got championed and got potentially awards. Weird. Moving on. Emotional roller coaster. That movie that whew, your emotions are ah, emotions are, ah. Wakanda Forever. We knew that Chadwick passing, so we knew we were gonna go in for it and it's gonna be sad. But the things that happened in that movie, wow. It really puts you on an emotional roller coaster. Your highs with the action, your lows with the sad scene, you're feeling some type of way about certain scenes happening, and then it literally was emotional roller coaster. And then Avatar. Avatar was an emotional roller coaster. Avatar, you just 
people were crying. I almost cried. Like that movie had me. Uh, the action, the the whole storyline, the way they're treating the the ocean and the animals. Just the whole movie. It definitely had you on emotional roller coaster. I will definitely give those two an emotional emotional roller coaster. Let's see. I hit you with action. I hit you with horror. I hit you with comedy. Um, best comic book films, animated, romance, best letdown, worst letdown, emotional roller coaster. We got to end it off with the worst. Excuse me. I had to go to my phone. Boogie, Moonfall, Senior Year, Old, The Card Counter, Rogue Hostage, Licorice Pizza, End of the Road, On the Come Up, Hellraiser, Halloween Ends, R.I.P.D. 2, and White Noise. That's a list of some of the worst. There's more, but that's just like, what? And then the just why Eraser Reborn? Why are we making a sequel like that? Eraser was good with Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is what you chose to come up with? 47 Ronin. That was an amazing movie with um, um, my guy John Wick, my guy um, Keanu Reeves. Excellent movie. But once again, that's the sequel you came up with? They all died in the first one. So how is this even a sequel? But they came up with a sequel. Pointless. Hellraiser. Why? Firestarter. Why? A wannabe X-Men. And then Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That movie was great. A great franchise. And then the last Texas Chain Massacre. That's what you wanted to put up in the franchise? That's what you wanted to enter in that whole category? That nonsense? Leatherface? Please. And by far the worst I'm still on Licorice Pizza because of how much people were on that movie. But then you start looking at it like, why? Why? Pick any one of those that I just named and don't watch it. And if you do, then you'll understand why that was in part of the worst category. I can't give one of them the number one because they all equally have their own why. That is my year in wrap up. Amazing movies, like I said, almost 200. A lot of greats, a lot of middle tier, and a lot of just why. But for all the, for every five pointless movies, you had that one really good movie that made it worth it. So in the end, it was a decent year. The ones that, the movies that we saw that were so good, I can't, they, they just make like Top Gun, Avatar, Wakanda, those type of movies, A Journal for Jordan, made the year worth it. 2023, I can't wait. I can't wait for John Wick 4. I can't wait for, um, I'm not really waiting for Shazam, but John Wick 4. That's just at the top of my head. One of the main movies that I can't wait. Um, it's a slew of movies coming out this year and I'm here for you. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit up my website, Cosmo and the Movie Within dot wordpress.com please check that out um check out all my socials at cosmo in there but once again cosmo and the movie within dot wordpress.com check it out until next time deuces